mobile for you. I have it unplugged, so it's not even plugged in right now. It still has enough hot water. I dump about four, about seven scoops or so into the dry answer. I close it up, and as the bride and groom are dancing, and I hope they don't have ice all over the place, I lock it down, I can roll it anywhere I like. Wow, the bride and groom are way over here. So a couple things you gotta know about dry ice. It's a, a wind affects it. If you have fans in the room, make sure you turn the fans off. If you have HVAC or air conditioning, have them turn it down or turn it on low so it doesn't blow your fog all over the place. Somebody's opening a door somewhere, it'll go whoop and right out the door. So be careful. But I can just take this fog right now, we'll deploy it, and we're going to fill up this whole room with six inches of low line fog all over the floor in 1.2 seconds. <laughs> How cool is that? Your bride and groom are now dancing on a cloud. It's that simple. Okay? Really cool. Real cool technology. It's old school. This has been around for years, right? Well, Chavez made it a lot more safe and a lot more user friendly. They have a, a dual heating element. So today, I had to use cold water out of the kitchen to heat this thing up. It took me 15 minutes because of the dual heating element. I had enough power available for this to work. It was great. Plug the dual heating element in, heated it right up. Now, what happens if I forgot about it back there? And it got way too hot and overboiled, it has an automatic shut off. So when it reaches the right temperature, green light comes off, the heating element shut off, and I'm good to go. How cool is this in here? Yeah. Okay, enough? Is that cool? How about an extra $500 if you're a bank for doing a little, little uh, low-lying clock? Okay, kind of cool, right? So, it, it's worth your advantage. Now, people go, oh, Bob, those things are so expensive. Okay, between you know $800 and $1,500 for a low-lying fog machine. Okay, I spent about $800, $900 on my Martin 2000 fogger that I've used once in the last four years because I can't use it at venues because it sets the fire alarms off. So now I can actually sell this to my client, make more money at my event, bring a little bit of uplighting in there, and it makes it worth, worthwhile for me. So what do you think? Any questions? Any questions about the Nimbus? Wireless technology? Uplighting? Yes? Uh, I got some uh, mega part profiles. Okay. Uh, but I also have the eliminator part kit. You bet. You can still control those, even though those are seven channel. Right? Exactly. You can still control those uh, via DMX, right? Right. Well, I got a 12, 12 um, 